Hello everyone, I'm Francois Picard. West African states are denouncing it as an attempted coup. Gunfire at midday in the capital of Guinea-Bissau at the government palace where the country's president, former Army General Umaro Sissoko Mbalo, was uh, chairing an emergency cabinet meeting. The unfolding events in that former Portuguese colony, a reminder of a string of recent coups in neighboring Guinea, as well as Mali, and last week Burkina Faso. Let's cross uh, to uh, correspondent Hanan Ferjani uh, in Abidjan, who's monitoring the situation. Hanan, what's the latest? Well, now, what I can tell you uh, so far, uh, Francois, is that uh, we have heard of uh, heavy gunfire breaking out earlier uh, today near the presidential uh, palace, as you've mentioned, a heavy gunfire which might still be underway as we speak. And uh, there are several reports that have come out. Uh, some people uh, who uh, seem to be inside the building and have said that uh, some people were hit by the gunfire, maybe but two people dead. That is still to be uh, confirmed. And uh, according to other reports, uh, incumbent President uh, Umaru uh, Mbalo Sissoko uh, would still be in the presidential palace uh, as we speak. Now the word uh, coup is being thrown around, uh, as you mentioned. And uh, although it's too early uh, to call it, uh, the uh, ECOWAS member states, uh, as, you've, as you mentioned earlier, have already uh, gone ahead and, and condemned an attempted coup and expressed their concern over uh, this uh, situation that is currently uh, unfolding in the coastal West African uh, country. Of course, uh, as you mentioned, this it comes as sort of a follow-up to a string of other uh, coups or uh, political crises in, in the area. And uh, just to give you a bit of context, uh, the president, uh, um, uh, Umaro Mbalo Sosoko, was uh, basically uh, declared winner of a, a presidential election back in 2020. That was January 1st. And that was already contested uh, very early on by uh, his rival, who was uh, basically the candidate of the ruling party, who uh, basically came out to uh, swore himself in at the same time as as the incumbent uh, uh, Sisoko, who basically ended up in a tussle. Um, and that went on for, for a few months back in, in 2020. And the country is no stranger to uh, political crises of that nature since uh, it obtained its independence uh, from uh, Portugal back in 1974. It's basically gone through uh, nine attempted coups or coups, and that's uh, just potentially what is going on uh, here. And that, of course, has uh, stifled uh, over time and repeatedly uh, efforts of moving forward on an economic and social uh, levels. Yeah, and uh, you, Hanan, you, you rightly point out that, you know, Guinea-Bissau is, is a long way away from the Sahel, where we've seen uh, those recent coups in uh, Mali and most recently in, in Burkina Faso. Nonetheless, for the regional bloc west, uh, uh, of West Africa, ECOWAS, it's uh, yet another hotspot. Absolutely. And this is, you know, all eyes are now on, on Guinea-Bissau. Their uh, member states, you know, ECOWAS member states are obviously very concerned about what's going on and probably very anxious about what the next hours, next days are going to look like. Um, and that comes in a particularly tense moment, very difficult moment for for uh, the, the, the the regional organization, which is struggling uh, to sort of assert its credibility, legitimacy, uh, especially as we've seen those other coups, namely in Mali and, and Burkina Faso, who have uh, been sort of supported to an extent by, uh, by the populations in, in those respective countries. And I guess that this is comes as a, an additional blow for the for the or for the regional organization, and uh, it is yet to see if uh, this uh, situation is actually an attempt, uh, a coup attempt, and if it actually uh, succeeds. Hanan Frajani reporting live from Abidjan. Do check in when there are more updates on the situation out of Guinea-Bissau. Again, if you're just joining us, uh, a uh, gunfire heard near the government palace uh, and the regional bloc ECOWAS uh, calling it an attempted coup.